Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. I'll be covering tectonic plates and plate boundaries today. So this is from the Geophysical Hazards Option D Paper 1 Unit from IB Geography. I'll put HL that it really differs from what themes your school chooses. Well anyways, okay. So it's first really, really important to know the layers of the Earth. So I put a little summary here so you can read it. Okay, so now this is a more detailed version of the Earth's layers. And I'll just talk about a little about each layer, I guess. So the crust is the outermost shell of our planet, and its main function is that it acts as a layer of human existence, and all the natural resources are available in this layer. And there are two types of crust, the oceanic and continental. So the oceanic crust is denser, thinner, mainly composed of basalt, while the continental crust is less dense, thicker, and mainly composed of granite. Okay, and the mantle um, plays an important role in the evolution of the crust and provides the thermal and mechanical driving forces for plate tectonics. tectonics excuse me. And the core is very hot, very dense, center of our planet. Very solid there. Um, the lithosphere is a rocky part of our Earth. It is made out of brittle crust and top part of our mantle, upper mantle. The lithosphere is the coolest and most rigid part of Earth. It provides a median for the cycle of nutrients and minerals. Okay, and the asthenosphere is the layer of Earth that lies below the lithosphere. It is a layer of solid rock where the extreme pressure and heat causes the rock to flow like liquid. So it is important because it is the force behind the plate tectonic motion and continental drifts. Yes, that's a really brief summary for all of those. And so what are plate tectonics? So plate tectonics is a scientific theory that explains how landforms are created from the movement of the Earth. The Earth's crust is broken into seven large plates and into several smaller plates. So you can see this picture, like these pictures right here where, um, this one's the one that my friend and I color coded, it's kind of hard to see. These are much easier to see here. They're divided into, yeah, many, many plates. Okay. So as plates move, boundaries are created. So these are convergent, divergent, and transform. So plate tectonics refers to the movement of large pieces of the Earth's crust. A plate boundary is a place where two or more tectonic plates meet. The direction of movement of the plates determines the type of boundary the two plates will form, hence the convergent divergent and transform. Okay, so now let's look into them. Okay, again, like I said, convergent, you know, it, go, it comes together and diving it goes apart and transform, like, coincides and other, like, sees each other through. Okay, now, convergent, which means to come together. So convergent boundaries occur when plates move towards one another. One plate eventually slides beneath the other, a process known as subduction, which I will later mention. Okay, so around 55 million years ago, two large land masses, India and Eurasia, collided with each other, resulting in the Himalayas. This is called the continental-continental convergence. As you can see, it's like that. It, like, slides in. Okay. Next, more convergence. So convergent tectonic plates moving towards each other, Okay. So the impact of colliding plates can cause the edges of one or both plates to buckle up into a mountain range, or one of the plates may bend down into a deep sea floor trench. So again, another example is the ocean-ocean convergence that resulted into making, like, the formation of the deep trenches like the Mariana Trench. Okay, now divergent, which means to move away or extend in different directions. Okay, so divergent boundaries occur when two tectonic plates move away from each other. Away, you see here, the arrow showing away. So along these boundaries, Earthquakes are common and magma, molten rock, rises from the Earth's mantle to the surface, solidifying to create new oceanic crust. So when two lithospheric plates are spread apart, so that's like the rocky surface, it is common for, the, for new crust to form as molten material rises to the surface. The mid-Atlantic ridge is formed in the process. You can, see the, you can see the ridge right here. Okay, now the transform, so which means to you know, change, change, but I don't think it really applies best in this situation. So transform boundaries grind past each other without going up or down. So transform boundaries are places where plates slide sideways past each other. So at transform boundaries, lithosphere is neither created or destroyed. So many transform boundaries are found on the seafloor, where they connect segments of diverging mid-ocean ridges. So transform plate boundaries are capable of triggering devastating earthquakes. Famous example is the San Andreas Fault in California. Okay, so in summary, you can take a look at this. Okay, good. Now, what is subduction? So subduction is a geological process that takes place at the convergent boundaries of tectonic plates where the oceanic lithospheric plate collides with another plate and is forced or sinks due to gravity into the mantle. The subducting plate drags the rest of the plate behind it. Yeah, very scary. Um, regions where this process occur occurs, <coughs> occurs are known as subduction zones. Regions where this process occurs are known as subduction zones. Rates of subduction are typically in centimeters per year with the average rate of convergence being approximately two or eight, two to eight centimeters per year along most plate boundaries. Okay, let's move on. So convection currents, these are really hard to understand. Not really hard, but for me it was. So I don't think this is like the best explanation, but convection currents are heat driven cycles that occur in the air, ocean, and mantle. They are caused by difference in temperature often due to a differing proximity to a heat surface, source, excuse me. So you can see the image here. Kind of like 
it's like, kind of like cycle. It's like arrows moving and stuff like that. So when it comes here, it's like really hot, right? Then it cools down and the cooler rock just goes back in again. So yeah, you can see the, like, the little steps I wrote here. Okay, now mantle plumes. So a mantle plume is an area under the rocky outer layer of Earth called the crust where magma is hotter than surrounding magma. That is very hard to read. Heat from this extra hot magma causes melting and thinning of the rocky crust, which leads to a widespread volcanic activity on Earth's surface above the plume. Does that make sense? Hopefully. A hot spot is an area on Earth over mantle plume or an area under the rocky outer layer of Earth called the crust, where magma is hotter than the surrounding magma, which I've said earlier. The magma plume causes melting and thinning of, yeah, same thing. I wrote the same thing twice. Okay, well, an example of a mantle plume is Iceland. You know the Iceland, like, blue lagoons and the hot springs they have and why it's, like, heated so everyone enjoys it? It's because there's, like, a mantle plume underneath. Yeah, crazy. Okay, rifts. This is the last thing, and I will leave. So rift zones are areas where the plates are moving apart from each other. Most rift zones are beneath the ocean, but a few are found on land, such as the Central African Rift. That is so cool, you have to search it up on the internet. Like, you can kind of see, like, um, Central Africa, like, I don't know, going apart, yeah, coming apart. As the plates move apart, magma rises to fill the space. So a rift valley is a lowland region that forms where Earth's tectonic plates move apart, rift, yada, yada, yada. Plates continue to move apart as a rift valley is formed. Tensional faults and cracks appear in the surface, allowing art gassing and steam eruptions. Upwarding of the crust takes place as magma rises and the plates are driven apart. Crust above the current slumps into uneven sections. And that is about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.